Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Black Ops 4. And uh, I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks for the almighty score streak, the care package. Uh, I know a lot of you guys probably don't uh, use care packages that often, as well as myself. I was never a big care package guy uh, prior to making this video, but there's a lot of benefits. Uh, you can level up really, really quick depending on how you use them. And uh, if you run the right class setup, some of the things that I'm about to share with you here in a second, uh, you'll be able to get some of those really high score streaks every single game, making it much easier to get those care packages and making it much easier to hit the, uh, the jackpot when you roll them. So the first thing I want to talk about is using a cosmic device. If you guys for some reason don't know what the cosmic device does, uh, it allows you to get score streaks easier. So for example, with the care package, it's 600 points uh, without it. If you are running the cosmic device, uh, it's only 500 points. So it makes it 100 points cheaper. If you're playing a game mode like Team Deathmatch, it's one less kill. But 500 points is nothing. Very, very easy, especially if you're playing an objective-based game mode, killing people on a flag, capturing a flag, defending a flag. Um, jumping on a hard point, whatever it may be, getting 500 points is fairly easy, especially if you're running a UAV as well. Once you get that UAV, you can call that in and pretty much get the care package from there. Um, I would only recommend running two score streaks. I would only recommend running the UAV and the care package. After that, you're really just working towards nothing if the care package is your main priority. Um, so you want to get right back into it and start building up to another one. Um, but yeah, I would just run UAV and care package. Use that cosmic device so that it's cheaper and easier to get and you get multiple uh, uh, care packages a game. The second thing that's extremely important is to use the engineer perk. If you guys don't use the engineer perk, which I'm sure a lot of you probably don't, um, it allows you to re-roll and booby trap care packages. So booby trapping care packages works extremely well. It always has and it always will because players see the care package and they're like, damn, I'm going to go take that. And then it blows up and kills them. It's an easy kill. But what I like to do is re-roll. And uh, what that allows you to do, if for some reason you don't know, it allows you to change your care package once every time you call one in. So most of the time, you guys know, when you call in a care package, most of the time you're getting a UAV or a counter UAV. That's just how it works, right? It's, it's rare to get some of the best stuff. But if you're able to re-roll every time, that means you're essentially getting two hits per care package, which is nice. If you're getting four, five, six care packages a game, you're doubling your effort and uh, and you have a much better chance of getting something like a gunship or something crazy out of one of those care packages. So make sure that you're running the engineer perk. If you're going to run a care package at all and not run the engineer perk, I don't think it's worth it. I think you should absolutely not use a care package, but uh, make sure that you are running that, in, running that engineer perk so that you have a chance of getting some of that crazy stuff. The third tip that I have for you guys is something that you don't really need to do, but it's something that I've noticed ha uh, has helped, and that's to use a trophy system. Basically, what you can do is when you call in a care package, a lot of times people are going to start throwing random grenades or random concussions or nine bangs or whatever it may be back toward the care package to try to stun you, kill you or whatever so that they can take your care package. Basically, what the trophy system will do is once you call in that care package, you can throw down a trophy system in front of it, and you can kind of just hide. I know a lot of people get irritated when they're waiting for their care package and someone comes back and kills them, and and they're not able to get it using that trophy system will save you from random grenades and random concussions it'll take them out before they hit the ground and uh, it'll make your life much easier it's something that i've just noticed something random that helps um, if you don't have an open spot i wouldn't recommend trading something that you think is crucial to your class setup for the trophy system but if you do have that open spot and you're looking for something to fill it with the trophy system is definitely the way to go the fourth and final thing that I wanted to talk about with care packages is the share package. And this is what actually helps you level up really, really quickly and can benefit you. So let's say you call in a care package. Um, you can do this two ways. You can either call it in and not care at all what it is and just give it to your teammates instantly. What that's going to do is give you more points, help you level up quicker, and uh, and then your teammate gets the care package. Um, or what you can do is if you roll it again and it's something that you don't want, then you can let your teammates have it. Um, Either way, you're still going to get a lot of points, and this was the reason that I talked about. Only, I only ran emergency airdrop in Modern Warfare 2. I ran emergency airdrop every single game, and I would work towards that, call it in in the spawn, and let my teammates take all four care packages, unless it was like a, a chopper gun or an AC-130. So what you can do is you can call in that care package. If you re-roll it and it's still something garbage like a UAV or a counter, you can let your teammates have it or, you know, like whatever random uh, kill streak or score streak you get out of it, you just let your teammates take it, let them get the points, and you'll get a bunch more points for letting them take it. So, And you'll get some of the challenges done. You'll get some of the share package challenges done, which will, again, get you more XP. But anyway, guys, that's all the tips that I wanted to share with you guys when it comes to the care package. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any questions about the care package or any more tips and tricks to add to this video, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Can we be friends? Oh,